I'm going to tell you what a lot of big name, famous mixing engineers won't. And that is the fact that nine times out of 10, they start with great source material. Audio that was recorded with high quality microphones, with high quality instruments, in nice rooms, and most importantly, with talented musicians. Also, high quality preamps, equalizers, and compressors were used on the way in before the audio signal even hit the high quality analog to digital converters. Typically, we're talking about gear that in total retails for over $75,000, not including music instruments. Also not including property taxes, utility bills, lease or mortgage payments for the studio, plus construction and maintenance cost. And that's just the recording equipment. Their mixing equipment also costs just as much money. Cha-ching indeed. They like to tell you that it's not about the gear. This is true, but only to an extent, because otherwise they would be doing their work on Radio Shack mixers. Granted, a newbie audio engineer won't be able to use fancy gear as effectively as a seasoned veteran. However, going back to the recording phase, I can guarantee you that a newbie engineer who is equipped with better gear, talented musicians, with accurate monitors and great rooms to record in will fare a lot better than if that same engineer had low quality gear, inaccurate speakers, a poor sounding room with musicians that lack chops. The truth is the big name engineers have had their gear lust quenched because they have it all now. Their speakers are great or they become accustomed to the way that they sound so that they know how to mix around the deficiencies. So it's either their gear lust has been quenched or their egos won't allow them to say that they owe a lot of their quality to the gear. Look, don't take this as a complaint video. Just take it as a reminder that what you record is the most important step. If you can save up the money and get two good channels of audio to record with, you will be better off when the time comes to mix using high quality plugins that are very reminiscent of hardware from the company Acoustica Audio prior to dropping your recorded files into a mix session will also help. They act as substitutes for the real hardware. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com and I have no problem telling you that I owe a lot of my sound quality to the gear that I own.